Hey, so in this video, I want to give you a quick guidance on how to use the customization setting inside the AI website building in ClexiFunnels because, uh, uh, you know, if you're not giving the customizations in the right way, then uh, uh, your credits will be used while you will not get the changes. So it's important that you give in the right way. Okay. So uh, the right way is uh, to be very very specific and i find the best way to be specific is in the format of numbers so when you give the changes in numbers it is very easy for ai to understand that okay i have to do these seven changes eight changes ten changes whatever it is right so for example uh, i'm going to show you some examples okay so this is a page in which we asked it to create a page okay so this page was created over here in a new tab, I have given the changes, okay? I want you to look at the changes and then I want you to see whether the changes are done or not. So, uh, have a look at this. Uh, so, if you will see, I have given the changes in numeric. 1, 2, 3. So, all the changes I have given uh, one by one, okay? So, add three more major pointers in this is this what's holding you back section. So, if you will see, if I will go back to the previous tab, there was this is this what is holding you back this is the previous page okay and there is one two three three major sections as per my change i wanted to add three major pointers so now is this what's holding you back one two three four five six so that's change number one which is done okay add a testimonial section right below heel from the inside out section let's go back to the previous page heel from the inside out there is no testimonial section, right? Let's go back. Let's go to the new page. Heal from the inside out. And now there is a testimonial section. Correct. Um, and also, again, you have to be specific. In this, uh, if I would have specified that, uh, hey, you know what I want. And in this section, I want six testimonials. So it would have given us six testimonials. Again, the specificness is the key. Okay. The photograph of clients should be visible decent size, not small. So that's why it came up with big size photographs. Okay. In the section healing journeys of real people, the space for the client photograph is very small, make it bigger. So let's go back to the previous page. And I guess this, yeah, healing journeys of real people. So let's go to this page. Healing journeys of real people. And now the photograph size is bigger. See in comparison. And now you see it over here, right? Uh, next thing, make this page copy one to one as if Savya is talking to the page visitor. Currently, it's in third party form. So if you will look at this page, so this page is for a, a healer and her name is Savya. Okay, so let's let's have a look at this. Nervous system regulation, bringing your body out of fight or flight mode and into a state of safety. This is a previous page. Now let's look at this page from a one-to-one -one perspective. I will help bring your body out of fight or flight mode. In the previous page, it was bringing your body out of fight or flight mode. But because I gave the instruction that make this page copy as if talking one-to-one, -one, I want Savya to be talking to the visitor, right? So I will help bring your body out of fight or flight mode. So, um, um, so basically, uh, this page is for a healer by the name Savya. So that's why I'm taking the name Savya. Okay. So maybe it's your page. You will talk. You will just mention that uh, make this page talking one to one rather uh, than uh, um, uh, third party. Okay. Together we will uncover how experiences from ages zero to nine, even new created patterns that still affect you today. So have a look at this. Uncovering how this is the previous page. So this is not one to one, but this page now is one to one. Right. I will I will help you identify instead of being in third party. Right. So this is the another change in this section book your one-to-one -one healing consultation make it a single column section okay let's have a look at this book your one-to-one -one. book your one-to-one -one healing consultation okay make this a single column section form is not needed just a button is needed now let's look at this page in the page where it is it has done the changes so we'll go down and see book your one-to-one -one healing consultation first look at the previous page book your one-to-one -one healing consultation this is two column where there is a form now in this change one book your one-to-one -one healing consultation now there is no form there is just one button right so it has done the changes final change was um add achha, one more thing add two testimonials each in all the sections of the page except the first full section so if you will see in this page there are two testimonials in each section see 
see right so there are testimonials that have been added to every single section have a look at this right have a look at this see this right however in the previous page there were not so many testimonials see no testimonials only in the testimonial section there were testimonials but otherwise other than that there were no testimonials so since i added the command that add testimonials in all the sections so now it has the testimonials right add a final motivation section at the bottom of the page have a look at this i can be very specific what do i want in my final motivation section but again i just want to show you um, right so again you will look at your page in a actual way this is still a demo page for me right so um, you can be specific and you have to be specific like what exactly do you want so if you will see this page ends book your one to one healing consultation right but in this page book your one to one healing consultation and then there is a final motivation your journey back to yourself begins today the person you were and etc etc right so this is how specificness is always going to be helpful uh, i have a couple of more uh, for example you know build a child daycare website this was the website in another one let me let me refresh this okay it will be easier for me Yeah. Yeah. So if you will see, the first is changes. Add a pre-headline which specifically mentions child daycare. If you will see, in this page there is no pre-headline, right? Where little mind grows, that's the only headline. But now in this page there is a pre-headline, premium child daycare services for your little ones. So that's one head pre-headline that has been added. Second, in our program section, the details of the program are coming with an animation. Uh, I want the program details to be visible one below another in one column and without the animation. That's what I have mentioned, right? So if you will see in this, uh, yeah, our program. So the details are coming like this with an animation, but I don't want it like that. What I want is that um, these details should be visible without the animation. So if you will see now, they are below this, correct? So now these details are right over here. Next thing is add an exit intent pop up. So I asked it, and you know it was there. Like I uh, since the cookies are there, so it's not opening over here. But the exit intent pop up was also added. That's why I wanted to refresh this. But yeah, it's added. So since I've already seen it, exit intent works in a way in which once it is used, once it is visible, then it's not going to be visible again. But let me see if I can figure it out. No. Um, <coughs> but yeah, if I will open it in a new tab, it will show. Like the whole point is. being specific with your changes so now if i want to give any change i will do it like this 1 abc 2 so shift and enter right and 2 xyz that's my first change second change third change right so whatever fourth change so whatever change i want to give and then i will click on customize i will proceed and uh, then these changes are going to be sent to the flexi ai all right 